Hello and welcome to the Hayes Free Press News Minute for July 10th. I am Moses Leos filling in for Andy Sevilla this week. Our top story begins in Buda, where for the past several years, residents in the Bonita Vista subdivision have dealt with severely cracked and broken roads. In 2007, the city of Buda began construction in the subdivision, a move which many residents did not feel was warranted. However, six months after completion in 2008, residents Denise Campbell, Chris Lindsay, and Kent and Kathy Broderick noticed large cracks beginning to surface. Since then, Campbell, Lindsay, and the Brodericks have campaigned to the city attempting to draw attention to the problem. However, the group experienced difficulty in getting answers from the city council. It took for us to go to a city council meeting and sending emails to the city manager and council to get anything to happen, said Campbell. I got responses from the city council, but it takes our initiation at this point. In 2009, the city filed suit against contractor Austin Bridge and Road on the basis of breach of contract. The city attempted to hold litigation, hoping Austin Bridge and Road would show good faith to rebuild the roads, a move which eventually did not happen. Buda then went forward with litigation in 2013. However, the reality of a lawsuit over the four-year period prevented them, prevented the city of Buda from commenting on the issue. Unfortunately, due to pending litigation, we could not move forward. We could not forward information, said Buda Mayor Todd Ruge. In March 2013, a Hayes County jury ruled Austin Bridge and Road not in breach of contract when it came to the cracked roads in Bonita Vista. For a look into, de into details of the lawsuit and how Buda aims to fix the problem, be sure to read the story in this week's edition of the Hayes Free Press. In other news, Cal Police Chief Jeff Barnett and Buda Police Chief Bo Kidd discussed what procedures their departments go through when a complaint is lodged against them. Recently, a Cal resident filed a written complaint against Officer Patsy Oaks during a traffic stop. In his official statement, Cal resident Eric Sims said Officer Oaks, quote, touched her gun and moved in a threatening manner, end quote. However, Barnett viewed the video with Sims and determined Oaks did not reach for her gun, which was on, the, on her right side, but moved, in turn, moved to turn down her radio with her left hand. The use of a dashboard camera footage has helped both police departments settle complaints which prior to the usage of dash cams were a matter of he said, she said. Video has been a great tool to resolving complaints, said Buda Police Chief Bo Kidd. I have always invited people to view, view video with me on complaints. Video captures most of what our officers do, so it's much easier these days to determine what is going on out there. And he later went on to say it has saved time, energy, and grief. While dash cams are, are used, both departments still go through an investigation process. Questions, are, questions often asked are whether an officer violated state law or department policy, is this the officer's first time, and how serious are those allegations? Finally, concerns over water conservation and who is and isn't following restrictions is an issue in the Chaparral Park area, particularly in a stretch along Bliss Spiller Road. Chaparral Park residents obtain their water from Aqua Texas, and currently Aqua Texas is under stage 3 water restrictions which force customers to reduce water usage by 30%. Residents also cannot use irrigation sprinklers or fill or top off their pools. However, some residents are unhappy that some Aqua Texas customers violate restrictions and those who own personal wells are able to irrigate their lawns. It's weird to me that you would have a lush green yard when you haven't had rain in a month, said Aqua Texas customer Sandra Simino. However, under the Rule of Capture Law passed in 1904, residents who own wells have the right to use all the water they can capture under their land and use it as they please, barring willful, wa willful waste or malicious intent against neighbors. Homeowners Jack and Polly Sprott, who installed their own well in 1980, used the Rule of Capture Law to their advantage. I feel the state of Texas says that the water that is, mine, that is under my property is mine to use, said Polly Sprott, who went on to say, if any of those people want to drill a well, they can. The Sprouts believe cedar trees, which require lots of water, contribute to many of the creeks drying up at a faster rate. However, some believe xeriscaping, such as building rock gardens, may be the beginning of a more concerted water conservation effort. For a more in-depth look at these stories, as well as a story on CHAPA student Zoe Flynn's experience at the NASA Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, and advertising expenses made by the Buda Lions Club during the 2013 Buda Country Fair and Wiener Dog Festival, be sure to pick up this week's edition of the Hayes Free Press or view them online at HayesFreePress.com. You can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. For the News Minute, I'm Moses Lips.